All right, well, I can pick it up. You can pop the tailgate off if you want. You gotta be able to set it up pretty high up there to be able to. Oh, here, hang on a second. Yeah, because if we try to tip it on the tailgate, it's gonna snap right off. Alright, yeah, that's, that's my concern. Here we go. kind of guide it down. And I just keep it from flipping over, yeah. Right. Yeah, because nobody ever got hurt doing shit. I'm gonna die today. Hey, you're gonna want the roll day. This is totally safe. Totally a good idea. Drop that. Side. 
No, it was cool. It was totally cool. We got mad skills, Batman. Thank you. <laughs> Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. I got a funny one for you. We have an accidental donation. So, Blind Brad out... Where, is it? where the hell does Brad live? Missouri. Missouri, okay. He um, regularly orders things from Newegg and donates them to the Geek Group. So he had to order just a little stupid thing, an external hard drive enclosure. And uh, he just wasn't paying attention and didn't think about it because he orders from Newegg a lot because he's a geek and it's what we do. And he accidentally had it shipped here. So he sends me an email the other day. He's like, oh, hey, you got a donation covered. I'm like, okay, what? And he's like, I ordered you a hard drive enclosure. What? And yeah, so there was a story. And he's ordered since ordered a second one for himself. But he was like, ah, I sent it to you accidentally. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy it. So thank you, Brad. <laughs> it's here. It just arrived. And uh, we're going to send this off to the video editing department where it will be used as a transfer drive to dump the camera. So thank you. It's here. And uh, I have a mixer headed your way. You need to talk to Moose? We've been talking. Oh, you've been talking with him. Okay, we're, so we're, it's we're cool. We're doing a cool project. Um, we're making a relief logo for um, a blind person. Oh, yeah. The, um, the Braille logo. Because he tried to explain the logo and it just wasn't working over words. So I'm making one that's in a full relief so you can feel the logo. Okay. See? Brad Braille Geek Group logo. Yep. And uh, I've got to point out a mixer for you today. So your mixer is going to be on its way to you presently. So, yeah, more as it happens. Captain's Blog Supplemental, 1501 hours. And I'm here with Moose. Hi. Hi. So this is something you don't see every day. What, what are you doing here? I'm, I'm using the SR100 to draw with a Sharpie. <laughs> and, and why are you doing this? It's a very important step of my art prize project. Okay, this is part of the layout? This is, I'm doing a test right now, but it's part of, part of the layout where I need to mark but not cut certain shapes on the material. Okay. Um, I may test this again with a crayon. <laughs> So there's the world's most high-tech Sharpie. <laughs> That's a pretty cool use. Is it wrong that I have a deep desire to spin that up to like 20,000 RPM? I thought it was wrong that I was deeply bothered, but the Sharpie is not perfectly level in the center. It's not. <laughs> it's very not. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. C and C Sharpie. We need to work on balancing it. Okay. Steve! Yes. We have a switch. We have a switch. We have a switch right here. There's a switch. And it's we press the, the switch. Watch this. Boop. Nice. And the coolest thing is, when you move the switch down, it goes the down. screen goes down. How's that for high tech? After the second time. It, it, it didn't do that at first, so that's that's a bit of an accomplishment. Well, it, it, but you hold the switch, you hold the switch down, stuff. boom. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah. It's, we had, we had a pilot set up. So, but it stops on its own. It's got limit switches. Cool. So, and then you push the switch up, and the screen goes up. So you know what this means. I got the screen. I hung the screen. I got it working. Hung. Screen is done. Screen works. Screen stops on its own. Everything's calibrated. Limit switches are set. It's even level, which took some doing. So you know what this means. Now, we get to hang a projector, a projector and wire it up and get it all good because the goal, the end goal, is that we can have a computer in there that we can put a movie on and it feeds out to the video and the amp and this projector and we get a picture and we get sound off a computer that is tucked away in there. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. So I did I did that part. Find me a suitable projector and I'll work about getting that hung and all right. Yeah. What do we have projector wise? We've got the one upstairs but it's 600 by 800, okay. but that's DVD and that we've is... used it with us before. But okay. find the best projector we have. There's a few. I think there's a couple in the The bigger lot. question is light output. Cover a screen that big. Ah, we turn all the lights off in here. There's no windows in the room so we can get it pretty dark. Yeah, that's true. All right. So that's the project. All right. All right. Well, Take a look around and see what we can find. Yay! Now we get to bug Batman. Batman! So. You've been screwed! Over and over and over. Again. You have you have a lot of roto bins. 
I do. I also have a lot of these little drawers, and right now I'm going through all these little drawers and combining them because they're all from donations from random people. It's their little collection of nuts and bolts. Well, I don't need a thousand drawers of black bolts or something like that. So I'm, I'm going through all the little drawers right now, just separating them from just simple screws and nuts and bolts from their other... And components. the idea is when we're done, we'll have a giant, sorted, organized collection yeah. of fasteners. Like one of these will just be like cotter pins I could Yeah. Yeah, a little things this, like that. This bin right here will just be wall anchors of every sort. This one here could be just of nuts and water. Cool. I got enough shit here. We've got, we've got a uh, million bits of hardware over the years and projects that we've recycled and that. Like, that is an eye bolt. That is specifically a wire eye. As opposed to this, which is also eye bolt, but this is a shoulder eye. This is a forged eye bolt that has the shoulder on it and it's all one piece. These are much stronger. These, by the way, are the only eye bolts that are rated to lift an angular load. Wire eyes are not safely usable for lifting an angular load. There's your useless bit of knowledge. Now here is a screw eye, a wire screw eye. And they make cast ones of those too, I'm sure. So, yep. And we've just got a million nuts and bolts and fasteners, like J bolts, and, and there's clamps, and plain old bolts, and that's that, yeah, see, so we got like all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. We've even got sex bolts. Yay! Sex bolts. It's a real thing. I actually well, have. I, I can actually I have, prove it. I have a diagram in here that says <laughs> sex bolt. I have a sex bolt. I have one, like, in use specific sex bolt on Ma Bell. It uh -huh. uses a sex bolt to mount the receiver. But just all kinds of stuff. We've got nuts and bolts. We've got, hey, we got, we got nylock. See? Nylock. It says right on there sex bolts and mating screws. Yep. It's a thing. It's, it's actually a thing. Here, we'll try. This chart's been brought to you by Bolt Depot. Yes. Cool guys at boltdepot.com. So, we've, we've, got, we've got fasteners. We've got powers fasteners. So, that's, that's the thing. This whole room, and we're going to get the rack out of here because it doesn't belong back here anymore. But yeah, the four right. big roto bins, and the roto bins are the... The beginning of the collection, this is the primary collection, the goal at the end is that we have this entire wall covered in the little bins like this, these kind of bins, the little plastic bins. We want to cover the whole wall in those, and each bin is a well, type cool. of, is, is a specific thing. There's racking out there that you can bolt to the wall and they just hook onto the yep. racking. Yep, yep. Really cool. That'd so, be cool to walk in here, just a wall. Of that. that's, that's what we're going for, a whole wall. Not just that wall. The side walls. Okay, everything, everything, whole thing. That would be dope. Call it like OCD heaven. And the dog's hanging out. Omni's feeling world's better. She's getting her medicine every day. Yes. It's good being you. Sick puppy's getting better. Yay. The autopsy is continuing on. Uh, we finished day three, and you can see the booms off it now. And we're all the way down in there. It's it's a really tedious autopsy. There's a lot of little things that have to happen before you can get on to the next step. But now you can see there's the main lift motor, because um, that's the big hydraulic pump. There's actually two motors with hydraulic pumps on this forklift. There's the big one and the little one just for steering. And then there's the two big drive motors back there, and those connect right to the transmission and then out and all that. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow. But today we got the, uh, the big hoist boom off, so that was the thing. And this is going to be coming up soon in a video. It's one of the transmitter cabinets from the old GE transmitter. transmitter and uh, inside it, look at that. A massive, massive three-phase full-wave bridge rectifier that is the only one at this voltage. It's, it's rated for like 25,000 volts. It's the only one at this voltage that I've ever seen that was air insulated. It's not under oil. So we're going to take the whole thing out and bolt it to the wall in the high voltage lab and that's going to be a thing. So we're going to autopsy this cabinet because it's got a lot of cool stuff like big high voltage relays which are pretty cool. Oh yeah. So that's going to be fun. It's coming. It's all coming soon. So you know, you can watch this stuff on the live stream. It doesn't like the smell of the bitter. Right? No. Well it's not the bitter, it's that I can like, I don't know, it feels like I'm not fully breathing air right now. Like right it. now? Yeah. Why? We are spraying that. We didn't spray it! You didn't. I did. I did. 
How much of the can of sprayer did you just use? Not much. I Enough that Corey's over here like, you know, he, like maybe 20 seconds worth. I personally use none of it. You use some. It's quite a look for you, Corey. I know. I'm just, I, I'm just looking at you and I'm thinking, I don't want to talk about uh, I didn't say that, folks. He so, so this is how you edit? This is your system? Yep. Okay. This is Corey and his portal burka. So what are you working on? I'm dumping footage from the forklift autopsy day three and I'm about to continue editing the forklift arrival video. So for the like eight million people who are constantly emailing me saying, when's the next video coming out? What, what do you have to say to them? Soon. So. <laughs> a non-committal soon. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> well, there's gonna be a, good, a video of tomorrow. This is gonna be done. The forklift, the, oh, which one? Uh, welder autopsy. Welder autopsy goes out tomorrow? Yes. Okay, that'll be cool. Like, absolutely will be uploading. Okay. Um, Even with lower thirds and everything? Yeah. Oh, cool. All it's, right. uh, we're waiting on you now. So. Okay, cool. So you guys are done. Now I get it tonight, and I can mark it up for lower thirds, and we're cool. What are you doing? Checking out stuff from National Instruments. You're playing with contact? What is it? I don't know what you mean by this when you're watching, cool. Like, for the split <laughs> you're just you're, you're playing with the toys. That's yeah. yeah. uh, okay. That's what the toys are here for. Yeah. Hard work. All right. I'm gonna go eat pizza. It just looks awkward. That's my plan. I I gotta go proof that. I gotta do markup. I got lower thirds and stuff, and I gotta edit this. And okay. I, we can't do anything till tomorrow. We can go back in the thing and they're dump cameras. So we need memory cards. If you guys want to help out, we need memory cards really bad because. We're limited to being able to shoot two hours of video a day. That's it. Big memory card. That, yeah, that we need class 10, 32 gigabyte SDHC cards made by SanDisk or Kingston. They got to be the real name brand stuff because the crappy ones drop frames. We've we've had that fun. So yeah, if you guys want to help out, memory cards are awesome donations. SanDisk or Kingston, you could be sponsors. I should call Kingston tomorrow. I should totally do that. I'm calling Kingston in the morning. Send me an email right now with their company info and I'll, I'll call them up. If they're California time, I can start calling them tonight. Cool. All right. So you guys have fun. That's today's Captain's Blog. We'll have more for you tomorrow. See you.